All right, Dan McClellan for Extra Sports 1360. We're at the 11th annual Shoot for the Cure to find a cure for Huntington's disease here at Chargers Park. Why we're out here is to, uh, you know, find a cure for this deal, uh, Huntington's disease. It's, you know, it, it, it hits somebody, you know, in our family and our home and with Bill Johnson. And, you know, it's such a great cause to come out here and support. It's something I look forward to. It's something my family looks forward to because my son gets an opportunity to, you know, shoot baskets. And, uh, you know, every year we put a team together. And, uh, you know, it's just, it, it's just good to come out here and raise money and try to find a you know, way to end this horrible disease. No, but uh, it's really a great event. Bill Johnson, who's up in the PR department, uh, his, his wife has HD. His family is very involved in this. The community comes out here. It's a great event. It's a good time. Uh, a lot of us, uh, a lot of hecklers coming from the Charger fans, I'm not used to that. And a lot of hecklers tell me I should stick with my number one sport and not play basketball. But I'm pretty, my, my shots are looking pretty good on a, on a rim that's a little unstable. That's there's about 20 pounds of water holding down the whole uh, backboard in the rim, but it's really, it's all about the night. The, the Chargers do a ton of charity things throughout the year, and there's one thing that's almost a certain guarantee if there's a charity event, and that is Jock Cesare is going to be there representing. Jock, why are you out here tonight? I'm out here to, you know, just... Uh... <laughs> Put some smiles on people's faces. Um, <laughs> um, you know, just basically uh, just out here having fun, and, uh, and hopefully uh, we can help you know raise money to have awareness for HD. You've been with the team a while now, and I'm sure you've developed a relationship with Ramona. How has it touched your heart to watch her deteriorate with the Huntington's disease? Uh, it, it, it has, but also what you know, what kind of puts life in perspective for me and uh, teaches me how to be a better husband is, is what Bill Johnson does every day. And uh, to see how he, uh, you know, he cares for her, loves her, and, and just keeps fighting, um, it, just, it gives you a, 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 a great sense of pride to know a man like that, and it just teaches you something. All right, my wife, uh, Ramona, was diagnosed in 1999 with Huntington's disease, and uh, most people don't know what Huntington's disease is, and that's probably my biggest mission is to make people aware of this disease. And it's a fatal brain disorder. It's similar to Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and ALS, but it has all the same symptoms, but they're all combined into one. And, and a lot of doctors have called it the devil of all diseases because it is combining all of those diseases, and on top of that, it's genetic. So the our children, children of someone with HD, have a 50% chance of inheriting this disease. So my biggest role here is to try to make people aware that this disease is out there and that there is a chance for us to put it, to treat it, number one, and obviously, two, hopefully find a cure for this. And that's our goal tonight, raising money to end this disease. What kind of progress has been made in the last 11 years in, in treatment and, and perhaps finding a cure? Well, not too long, at least in the last uh, 20 years, they found the gene that where the defect is that causes the, the, the disease. So at least they know where it is. They know Now they know where to look. They don't know how to stop it yet. That's the problem. And so our biggest goal is to raise money to get into the researchers' hands that can keep, keep trying, keep trying different possibilities in the hopes that something will work. When Ramona was first diagnosed, he went into Dean's office, said, I need to do something. How much has he been a part of, of providing the support to make these events happen? Well, we couldn't be here without Dean. We couldn't be here without the Chargers. And so uh, there's so much that they've done for the Huntington's Disease Society and all the families that are struggling with the disease. The Chargers have made all of our efforts possible and, and through their efforts, efforts like uh, that Antonio Gates has provided, his support as honorary chair of this event for the last six years have helped elevate the awareness about this cause and also help elevate the funds that we've been able to raise and now our chapter, this chapter here in San Diego is the number one fundraising chapter for Huntington's disease in the country. So I feel very good about that, but obviously we still have a long way to go. We've got to, we've got to find a cure. We've got to find an end to this disease. Obviously there isn't a cap on how much money you can make or, or want to make, but you came into tonight already meeting tonight's goal. I must say something about the support you're getting from San Diego citizens getting behind and, and helping you out here. Right. The, the community has been great. It's the people that you just mentioned, Dean Spanos, 
Dean and his family and the Chargers obviously have been huge supporters of our organization. But also it's folks from Qualcomm, Symer, big sponsors like that in town. Big, they're not sponsors, they're big organizations that are, that are supporting us from the top. And their people are giving and giving us of their time, their efforts, their volunteering, their, their finances. It's people like that that really don't have a connection to Huntington's disease, but once they learn about what this disease is all about, they realize, one, the horrible nature of it, and two, that they can make a difference. And so they are the ones that are, that are making all this possible. Thanks, Bill. Your Ramona's in my prayers. So at one yeah. point, Mona was fully aware of who I was. It's a huge Target fan to the point where uh, a couple of years ago she wasn't, she didn't even understand who I was. Uh, I remember saying something to her and they had to constantly tell her, this is Antonio, you remember Antonio who started the, the She to Cure and she still wasn't really, you know, aware. And I think to see that, uh, people are just oblivious to things like that that's happening to people in this world. So, uh, you know, I think that touched me dearly because I can remember when she would give me a hug, she would, give, she would kiss me on my cheek every time she would see me, you know, and then to the point she didn't even recognize who I was. Yeah, well, I, you know, I, I feel like she was in the very early stages of it um, when I got here. Uh, and obviously, just from what I've learned from it, it obviously continues to progress rather quickly. And, um, you know, it's, um, it's tough. And I, I've learned more about it, both at this event and going to the... Uh, the dinner I've been able to go to a few times that they have in the fall, and um, you know, hopefully they're able to find a cure because it's um, it's such a such a terrible disease. Yeah, what, Mike, hi, first uh, shoot for the care. How you doing? How's the basketball going? I'm just having a great time. You know. I know I'm a football player. But... <laughs> now, as far as the team of shooting hoops tonight, who's doing the best in your group? Uh, right now, the young young Kendall is doing great. Um, uh, um, uh, Antonio Gray is doing pretty good. Uh, but I, obviously, I'm leading the group right now. Um, we're not going to tell that. <laughs> Extra Sports team only got 30 points. But they didn't invite me to play. Let's see what happens. Jason and Dub, if you were wondering, I'm still back here with the uh, voter uh, tallying that's going on right Probably now. Probably a good reason yeah. I wasn't invited. <laughs> If you would like to learn more on how you can support Huntington's disease, or if you or a family member are a victim of Huntington's disease and need some assistance, please visit hdsandiego.org.